All right, there are three ways, three main ways that we can put data into a list. So what I've done over here is I'm in Scratch and I've gone and I've created my list. The list uh, function is under the variables tab. So when I click on variables uh, and I scroll down and I can choose to make a list, I give my list a name. I've created two lists here, notes and times. Don't worry about times. We'll come back to that one shortly. Now the first way I can uh, add data to a list is simply once the list is visible and it's visible, I make it visible by clicking on these, by, by checking it over here. So I've uh, got my notes uh, list over here. I can add a, a note. It creates an extra element and I can type in the value that I would like. I can add another note and so forth. That's method one. So simply by creating the list, making the list visible and choosing to add an item. A second way to make the list is just simply to code it in. And so I could use my add thing to list feature here. Here is the uh, set of lists that my program has. And so if I would like to add an item to a list, add 60 to notes, add 62 to notes, add 64 to notes, and so on. The catch with that is that each time I run that code, it adds those same items to my list. And so now I've got a list that's way too long. I only want those items and just those items to be in my list. So here, what I can do is I start by choosing to delete all of notes, and then I run the code that adds those items to my list. And here I have the original seven items. What I've done is just to keep my code a little bit tidier is I've made a my blocks. And the my block I made is called make a list. And then I defined make a list using all the, the functions and features that made the list. And then I could simply drop that function call into my code somewhere there outside the loop before I get to the loop. Uh, remember that with my code, I need to have a counter. Now my counter is going to use, is, is going to help my code point to which item in the list to play. So I start by setting the counter to one. I have a repeat loop that runs the same number of times as the length of the list. That orange function length of lists was here under lists. Make the list, there it is. And then I play the note, and the note that I play is item counter of whichever list it is, notes. And that's what gets dropped into to the note player. And I set each note to be on a beat of 0.25, uh, 0.25 beats. Then I, I have a rest. All right, so that's the second way to make a list. The third way is a little bit more complicated, but it allows me to do some very, very interesting things. I have here a spreadsheet that I've written in Excel, and this contains the notes for a song called Ode to Joy. I hopped on the web and I had a bit of a search for it and found the sheet music for Ode to Joy. And I made a note of what those notes were and I wrote those notes down here. B, E, F, G, 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 F, E, G, G, so on and so forth. Then I made a note of the um, code number, the MIDI code number for that note. I have this, this will be on the handout that you receive. Okay. And then I made a note of how long the note was. All the notes, just about, with a couple of exceptions, are one crotchet. This one's a quaver and this one's a minimum. All right, so I put the notes into my Excel spreadsheet. I then took the notes and I copied those and I pasted them into a new worksheet. There's a list of the notes. Coming back to my original spreadsheet, I took the times and I copied those and pasted them into a separate 
worksheet. I made a new worksheet and I created that. Then I saved those right, individually. I saved those as a text file. So the save as type, I chose to save those as a text file, .txt file. And I gave them the name, Ode to Joy Times, and I saved them in a certain folder where I want my files to be saved. And so what that did is that gave me a piece of code that looks like this. Another piece of code, sorry, a data file that looks like this. Okay, here are my notes in text file format. Here are my notes, that's the times, and here are the notes. Okay, now coming back over here to Scratch, I was then able to, all right, let me just delete all of notes, just to keep this nice and neat, delete all of notes. All right, now then I was able to right click on notes, and I could import that text file. So I need to navigate to the folder. I am going to import the notes text file. And all those notes get read into this big long list. I also wanted to import the times. And now what I am going to do is I am going to, when the start flag is clicked, I will reset the counter to zero. I will, re I will repeat this loop, the number of notes that there are in, in the list, and I am going to play item, whatever number, starting with one of notes, four, and I think what we want to do is I want to play item of times and I also need my variable for counter there. And I will take that away. I don't want that at the moment. Now you won't be able to hear this because of the screen recording software that I'm using, but when I play this, I am going to hear Ode to Joy. 